Marte. Hope you guys enjoy this video you're about to watch. Hello everyone, hope you guys are having a great day. So here's my uh, weekly update for this week. So I wanna come to you guys today and talk to you guys about some very personal, something close and personal to you. Okay, get, get close, because I'm gonna talk to you guys. It's about your credit, right? That's it's very important that we all understand what's going on with our credit. Sometimes we don't wanna look at our credit because we know we got all this stuff on there and we're thinking like, oh my God, I don't even wanna know what the hell I got going on, right? But it's important you take that first step. Now there's a lot of websites out there that you can go on that will give you a free credit report. Uh, I think it's one is uh, freecreditreport.com, annualcreditreport.com. Uh, there's a number of different ones out there uh, that will get you free credit reports. Or there's uh, places like equifax.com where you pay a fee and they'll help you monitor your credit as well. Um, I believe True Credit Report also does the same thing. So once we get our credit, what are we going to do with this? What's all this information that we have on there? Well, first thing we want to do is take a look at any collections that we have. Okay. Do we have any outstanding collections? Did we forget to pay our Comcast bill when we moved from the last place to the new place and we didn't turn in that Comcast box? Uh, did we, when we canceled our Sprint service because we wanted to go to AT&T because they have the new iPhone, did we forget to close out our account? So those are the things you want to take a look at because collections are going to affect you really uh, on your credit report. Probably about 30% of your credit's based on collections. So once you can address those collections, pay those off, get those settled out, get those closed, important to get a letter when you pay the collection. Because I get a lot of clients that come in and say, oh, I paid that account. I say, well, where's the letter? Show me the proof so that I can get it updated. A lot of them don't get anything. So it's important to understand that. Next thing that a lot of people ask me, a lot of clients say is, uh, should I close my credit card once I pay it off? No, do not close your credit card. Because that is going to talk about your history. Uh, we'll take an example. If you have two credit cards, one that your limit is, say, $300, but you've had for 10 years, and you've got another one that has a limit of $10,000, but you've only had it for three or four months. Well, the one that has a history of 10 years is going to weigh more than the one that has a higher limit because it shows a history of payment. So it's important that we keep that account open. Now, if you've got 25 credit cards, you've got a problem. Right? You got too many credit cards. So keep it down to about four or five credit cards. You know, I see a lot of clients come in here and they got a, a Macy's, a Sears, a, a JCPenney's, a Target, a Nordstrom's. Uh, listen, a Visa will take all those places. So get yourself three or four credit cards. That's enough. The rule that we have to go by is three credit cards, 24 month history. So as long as you got three credit cards, 24 month history, you're okay. So we talked about collections, which is going to cover about 33% of the credit. Uh, uh, your your uh, open accounts, which is about another 33% of your credit. Um, and then the next thing we're going to talk about is your limits in comparisons to your balance. So very, very important. You got a credit card that you have a $500 limit, but your balance is $499. Or in some cases, your balance is above your limit. It's important to bring that down. The rule of thumb that I like to use is 30%. So if your limit's $500, no more than $150 balance. Okay, keep those balances down because that's all going to help you. So once you accomplish those three things, you're definitely going to be on the road to home ownership or on the road to better credit, 660, 680 FICOs. So a couple different terms that you'll hear out there, a FICO score is a, just a judgment or an average of all of your credit. Three different bureaus that we use, Equifax, TransUnion, Experian, we average them out. The middle of the three score is a score that we'll take. So important. Make sure you pay your collections off if you have any. Take a look at your credit. Make sure you keep your accounts open. Try to have three accounts, three good standing accounts. And three, make sure you keep your limits below your balances. Now, if you want a free credit report and you don't want to go to one of these places, give me a call. I'll pull a free credit report for you. I can sit down with you, give you a free consultation. It doesn't have to do anything with buying a house. It's just a credit check. That's all we're going to do. And it's good for you to check your credit once every six months. I look forward to helping you guys out now in the future. Hopefully this information was helpful and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week.